Hello. So we're going to go to as many coffee shops as we can this week, and we're going to rate them on their coffee, their location, and the parking situation, and then on the vibe, because I think all those things are important when it comes to a coffee shop. So first on our list is Phoenix Athens, and it's close to downtown off Broad Street. So we're going to head there now. Okay, I'm home from the coffee shop, and I've been sipping on this coffee on the way home. I got a vanilla latte. I wanted to get a white mocha, but they were out of white chocolate, so I guess I'm going to get a vanilla latte at all these places just to make it a fair comparison. I think it's really good. However, the espresso has strong fruity and nutty notes to it that's kind of overpowering and competing with the vanilla a little bit. Um, so I don't like that about it. So I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. And the parking situation, so I guess we're doing location now, is not ideal. It's basically you pull into a parking spot, but then you have to like back out. There's no like big parking lot in the front. And then in the back, if you drive down the street on the right, there's a parking lot behind the building. But it's gravel and there was like broken glass when I was walking. I was wearing sandals, so not the ideal situation. Um, and I didn't feel safe in that parking lot because it was the way it was behind the building and it's just kind of like in a sketchy spot. So that's why I'm home recording this and not at the coffee shop. But the vibe, however, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. It was really cozy and inviting. The people there, even the people that were just like Sitting at tables drinking coffee were friendly. Everybody like acknowledged you when you came in and people in line were talking to me, asking if I'd been there, asking my name. And the barista was really friendly and super sweet. And she brought me my coffee instead of like calling out my name um, or my order for me to come get it. So that was thoughtful. But um, the, there's really cozy chairs in there. There's You can sit up by the window and there's regular tables and you can just kind of pick what kind of spot you're in the mood for. I was wanting a table and all the tables were full. So I was just waiting in one of the comfy chairs. So I was gonna journal while I was there, but yeah. Hello, today we are reading Sunroof Coffee in Athens. It is in the Mill District. It's a newer coffee shop. I think it opened up last year and it's it's different. You walk up to a window to order your drink and they have outdoor seating but there's no like going inside so I don't think that there's a bathroom or anything. So got a vanilla latte like I'm doing in all these places. It's really good. The espresso flavors, the notes in the espresso is not competing with the vanilla like it was at Phoenix Community of Athens. It's cold. Like, I think I heard I'm shaking it in a cocktail shaker. So, sometimes when you get a drink, it's warm, you know, it's iced, and it like melts the ice and waters it down. But this is so good. It's not really sweet. It's very subtle. The sweetness, which... I'd rather have it more subtle than be overpoweringly sweet. I don't have anything bad to say about this coffee. Like, I'm going to give it a 4.9. <sighs> Location. They are... They're in a new... I think it's a new area. Um, the Mill District. They have a bunch of like pop-up stands. Uh, there was a frozen wine one, and there was also... Like, I think a restaurant one. I'm not sure. But it seems so new and it seems up and coming. And it, a lot of these hadn't been like filled with businesses yet. So I think it will be wonderful and a great place to go. It's just really, it's really new. So I don't think a whole lot of people maybe know about it. I don't know. But they have parking. That was my thing. I hadn't gone there. 
because I knew it was off of Tracy Street, which is sort of close to downtown and Chase Street. And I was like, mm, those pictures look like street parking only, parallel parking. And uh, that's not the case. They have a parking lot. There are several parking lots surrounding it. There's like an apartment complex, I think, there. So for me, it is out of the way to go there, but I love that they have a parking lot. So location, I'm gonna give them a three. And for the vibe, it's also hard for me to rate because they don't have indoor seating. They don't have like, it's just a couple tables sitting outside. But they had really cute string lights hanging up and uh, I feel like if I were to take my dog over there, get him a free pup cup, they had a sign that said free pup cups, and sit in the sunshine and read a book, you know, that'd be really nice. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a three. But this coffee is just phenomenal. It's so good. I'll definitely be back for the coffee, even though it is not for me. Alright, today we are at Jiggery Joe's. And I have been here several times, uh, but I've never had or just like a vanilla latte. I always get a white mocha or something seasonal. They have a really good, I know this is a coffee video, but they have a really good um, tea. I think it's called a ginger dragon, and that's really good. But we're talking about coffee today. I think Sunroof has some competition here. Ah, espresso to milk ratio, sweetness, it's, it's all perfect. Um, I do wish that they'd like shake it up like Sunroof does, so it'd be all mixed. But, this is really good. Like, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, it's really good. So, I kind of want to reserve my 5 out of 5 for like the best coffee I've ever had. So I'm going to go 4.8 out of 5. Moving on to location. It's in a very easy to get to location, a very popular location. This is Epsbridge Parkway. Um, there's so many shopping centers. This is like the place if you're in Athens and you want to go to a store, you come to Epsbridge. So I like that it's like if you're coming from Watkinsville, if you're coming from the west side of Athens or the east side of Athens, like it's easy to get to. And um, the only thing I will say is this parking lot, because so many people come here, it's pretty tight sometimes and there's a lot of traffic so because of that I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5 for location and then for the vibe this is usually my go-to if I'm meeting a friend I'm like oh, you want to meet a Jitter Joe's Jitter Joe's is a chain in the Athens area and surrounding areas as well they've expanded I think they even have locations in Atlanta I'm not sure about that but um the vibe is really nice. There's a lot of seating. There's comfy chairs, there's couches, there's tables, there's like bar stools. And you can sit out and look out the window. So for vibe, I'm also gonna give it a 4.8 out of 5. It's really good vibe. So Jittery Joe's is like an Athens big staple. So this is my little preferred preferred location just because I have friends that live in Watkinsville and so it's easy for us to meet here and um, this one has uh, a bigger seating area there's one in five points which is near downtown near UGA and they have a good amount of seating they also have some outdoor seating and there's one downtown that one doesn't have very much seating they it's it's smaller and uh, they have a couple tables, I think, outside. But yeah, there's several locations. They're all over. But yeah, really good coffee, really good atmosphere. The baristas are friendly. And yeah, so. 
cook myself some ginger joes. Today we're at Sips, and this is in normal town in Athens, and I got a little latte. It's good. I do think that it's very bitter, honestly. I wonder how many shots are in this. I don't know. The vanilla is barely there. And there's a better aftertaste. Not my favorite. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. I would drink it again. Uh, because of the atmosphere and the vibe. So, for the coffee though... I can give it a three. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. It's not the best I've ever had. It's not the worst I've ever had, but it's not, I don't know. Um, the vibe, I'm gonna give it four and a half stars because they have lots of outdoor seating and string lights and they have a covered patio that they have it's almost like garage doors open when it's nice out. So I was sitting in there and journaling and drinking my coffee. They used to have indoor seating. They used to have a bar uh, by the window so you could sit in the air conditioning. But now there's like a bunch of boxes and stuff on it and there's no chairs. So I guess they got rid of that option. I don't know. So I would like it if they had a more air conditioned spot because it's getting very toasty and the only table that was available with a that weren't like comfy chairs it was, um, it was in the sunshine, so it's getting very hot. I saw I had to leave, but yeah. Location I should have done two separate things for like location and parking. Parking here kind of sucks. I got one of the last spots that wasn't compact. Now that I'm looking around, spots have cleared out, but when I first got here, there was only one spot, and you can't park in the other spots because they are for the restaurant so they say Agua Linda restaurant only and there's a liquor store uh, also with parking just for the liquor store so parking is not a good situation and the location is good for if you live in this area if you live near normal town um, I'd say it's convenient for me personally it's not very convenient so I'm gonna give it a 0.75 so I'll come back for the vibe maybe I'll order something different like a white mocha that's a little sweeter to kind of combat the bitterness I don't know why it's so bitter like I love black coffee I know bitter but this is a weird kind of bitterness I don't know maybe it's milk but yeah all right this video because I have to go back home tomorrow so if uh, this video is well recepted I may do a downtown coffee shop review of Athens because there's a lot of coffee shops downtown and we are just doing the ones that aren't downtown right now so this is from Chaco Pronto it is on Baxter Street in Athens if you go to UGA 
you know, a Baxter, where Baxter Street is. It's like, I don't know if it still has all the textbook places. I'm sure it does. There's some new construction here. And there's Raisin Cane's behind me. So it's kind of in this little strip. Um, there's a decent amount of parking. So let's see here. espresso is very smooth and nutty. Um, I'm not getting much of the vanilla. The nuttiness of the espresso is kind of overpowering the vanilla, like the first place we went. However, this is very smooth and very easy to drink. Like, there's no bitterness whatsoever. It's just like nuttiness instead. So, I don't like when the espresso overpowers, like the, the notes of it, the vanilla. But, um, this is a really, really good, like, quality coffee. I'm gonna give it a 4.6. If you like coffees that taste more nutty, then you probably love this. Location, it's a decent location, especially if you live on campus, um, you just like take the bus, it'd be really easy to get to this place. There were a lot of college age people in there when I went in there, I was surprised that they were the that was in there, but I'm going to give it a, a 4, just because the parking lot is kind of... There's a parking lot, but then there's like, just like, wide enough for one car, so parking here was kind of hard. Just like at that first place we went to. Um, there is a parking lot further down that you can park in, but it's a longer walk. It's pouring down rain, so I parked here. And yeah, if you live on campus, this is like, very easy to get to. For me, I, this is very out of the way. For the vibe in there, they had two tables and then like a bar seating up against the wall. So, not the best vibe. I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, this is good. This was a fun video to do. Gave me something to look forward to every day going and trying a different coffee shop. Most of them I had never tried before, except for Jerry Joe's and, yeah, Jerry Joe's. <laughs> so, a lot of these are new, and I'm excited that the coffee uh, scene is kind of growing in Athens. Like I said, there's a lot of new ones around town, and ones that I haven't been to, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.